What's up, everybody? It's Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another new blood production video. That's right. You know what that new blood production video is about? It's about token platforms and the latest and greatest information on the scene left behind by the Arbors. You know, the the former Arbtards and and uh, all the token platform shillers. Where they all go? Where they all disappear? Nobody's talking about these platforms anymore. Maybe a couple, you know, of them do. You know, but it's not what it was before, right? All you saw was videos upon videos about all these platforms before, you know, the... You know, as I got right here, Dropple, and, you know, you got Crystal Token, and Arbitrage, and Nova Chain, and you go down the list of all these, you know, ICOs, and crypto tokens, and coins that you buy, and then when they launch, you know, you either you sold them or you don't, and, you know, the eras of lending platforms, and stake, it became staking, and then it became... You put it in bots like A bots and Novachain had their wrecks and things like that. So, you know, it's funny how all these things had a pattern of doing something similar, right? But um yeah, so like with Dex here for Dropple, this is their automatic trading, kinda like the A bot version of Dropple. So abruptly in my last update, I talked about how they abruptly ceased operations of the DEX. That's why it says canceled here. Uh, after the last um, payout of here, then they canceled this thing outright altogether. Um, I started putting in this drops. I had 31,000 drops. And I put this in back in March 12th of 2018. If you really want to see, you don't believe me, all right, check it out. Right here, see? March 12th, 2018. 31,500 drops. I put it in here in DEX. I put it on aggressive, and I just left it there the whole time. Didn't touch it, didn't do nothing with it. You know, and then the last payout was here. And the funny thing is that... Um, this would have been actual value if they didn't mess with the uh, payouts on drops and all that back then. Um, the payout would have been like here, right? But instead, this is the actual net worth today right here. It's crazy, huh? So with, and it's funny because, you know, it, when they talk about it in Telegram with Dropper here, a lot of, you know, they're being... They're trying to encourage people to go use their Jade here, which is a personalized trade. Kind of like the Binance bots that all these other platforms are doing right now. You know, with the Moonbergs and, you know, all these things are, com are coming out with their own individual Binance bots, right? Uh, tr and uh, that just Jade is, you know, pretty much along the lines of that. It's pretty similar. So they're trying, the admins are trying to tell everybody, go use Jade. Jade's been doing really well, blah, blah, blah. But you got to pay fees and all that, you know, from using Jade here. And it's kind of funny because people are saying that, you know, why got to pay fees for to use a bot when I already had a good bot for the longest time? I, I guess I had a good bot. I don't know. I got almost 100,000 more drops extra. Look at that. I was closing on 100,000. And so, I am dripping with ten then ten dollars of drips of drabbles and drops today. So, uh, yeah, with Dex here, uh, it's done. Pretty much, I think Dropple might be done with all. This. Yeah, they have this Zoo Hex crypto exchange coming up that Crypto Clover is pretty excited about and pumped up about, but. Um, yeah, Jade is like their Binance bot that they're trying to get everybody to do right now. And Dex 
is they killed the bot. Hey, they killed it. So, I think what I'm going to end up doing is eventually I'm going to just throw all these drops into Bitmart. I don't know if you can see the Bitmart bubble highlight there. Bitmart.com because they do trading. Believe it or not, with these drops, they actually buy and sell drops on Bitmart uh, with trading pairs with BTC and ETH. It's crazy how that can work for me. If I could just maximize the value and get rid of these shit tokens, right? So, yeah, Dropple. I already talked about what's going on with Evil AI, you know, when they sent out an email. And I also had a, a comment in one of my videos here. Let's see if I can find that comment. Um, let's see if I can find it. It was commented, I think, by a dude named Mark Hall. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Evo AI. It's a, there was an email that they received for anybody that's involved in Evo AI. Talking about how they did a bunch of testing for uh, their latest product. The Evo Earn Striker Indicator and Oscillator. Sounds very sophisticated, huh? Look at that. This indicator is a trading view indicator. This indicator will be initially available for only a select number of users with Evo Earn Striker early program and all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so if you're in, if you want to join this thing, ooh, yeah, this is a crazy trading view indicator. Oh, yeah, pretty uh, exciting crap there. So that was Evo AI. I guess you want to see a visual of what it looks like. For all you visually minded people, there we go. Right here. The scrapped intelligent bots. Those are no longer in functional use. But as what the this is actually the re, the renewed Evo AI because they did like a redesign and everything. It's gotten more colorful. And so with crystal tokens, there's not much to report. They keep doing beta testing in the background and all this stuff. I think their trading is kind of like Binance bots that they use to do trading and all that. They say that sign up, add funds, and earn passive income. So that's pretty much what they do with this thing. Um, there's really not much information. They had supposedly a new CEO that took over. Um, let's see if I can find where is, oh, here we go. Crystal token. He, he's a nameless CEO right now. He just says crystal token CEO. So he's a nameless CEO right now. Uh, no face or anything, right? Cause you know, people want to see faces. Um, let me go to right here. Oh, no. This way's channel there. Let's see what else here. Oh, that's this way's other channel. That's Truth Bitcoin. All right, found the right spot here. Trying to look for uh, Crypto Sensei here because he did a interview with the. Uh, it's kind of a funny looking wig wearing CEO of Crypto Token back then. Uh, it was kind of funny to me. Uh, it was, it was, it was just like, wow, you know, I, I didn't fall for it one bit. You know, I looked at it, I was like, what a, what a weird looking, I mean, I don't know. I, to me, did anybody fall for that dude? You know, like it, he totally was a fraud to me, you know, so I was I was just wondering if you feel the same way. Here we go. Finally, I found Crypto Sensei here. He did a video here on interviewing the CEO. All right, this guy here. Look at this. Isn't this crazy? This guy is like a wig wearing. Uh, I don't know. It just, it just, I just couldn't believe it. I first watched it. I was like, there's no way this guy is the CEO. You know, I mean, look at this, you know. But yeah, this was back in what, two years ago that this interview was done with the, the former Crystal Token face reveal. Look at that, huh? And um, here, let me do this a favor there. Bam. <laughs> so yeah, with that, 
Uh, yeah, let me go back to Telegram. Here we go. So the, this this CEO took over. His name is Crypto Token CEO. He doesn't have a real name. He was asking, who are all the YouTubers here? Uh, this guy has a small channel. Um, is the CEO preparing for a marketing campaign platform to run? You know, this was asked. And yes, for sure. We're trying to tie up a few things. Then we'll be live for new users. And... So with that, it looks like Crystal Tokens coming around soon. The keyword, right? And on top of Crystal, on top of that, the Shillers. They looks like they're calling for YouTubers, the Shillers of token platforms. You know, where are where are the the Tiwis and the Bitsaways and the you know who else is out there that's left? Um, I got to refer to my list here. Uh, he's still out there. He's still out there. Oh, he's gone. Technically gone. Man, almost all these people were gone. Well, my saw there. I don't know if he'll show these type of platforms anymore. I think he's gone off in a better direction in crypto. And so, but these guys are still in play for token platforms that are still around. So... Let's see if they will start shilling Crystal Token again. So, PSA announcement. Crystal Token is looking for shillers of tokens. So, just putting it out there. And, uh, since I'm doing a New Blood production, I also wanted to present a real short, quick, a real short quickie on a new platform that uh, I saw that uh, King of FOMO was talking about Biddles, right? You know, when I think about Biddles, I think about the CEO. I think they show a visual of him, or maybe not. But I think about the CEO. He was sitting there with, you know, trying to plan this thing out. And he was, you know, putting together this program. And, uh, he was eating Skittles, right? And then he's, he was staring at Bitcoin and eating Skittles and, he, and it just hit him, he says. And I don't know if you want to believe this as a true story or not. Maybe, maybe not. He said, I want to call this Biddles. That's a good idea. I want to call it Biddles. And you know what? When I first looked at the platform, when King of Home first presented it, it was like at 23 cents. Now it's already at almost 28 cents. But... This is doing a arbitrage trading. You're making 0.3 to 6%, which is a pretty, pretty nice spread, I guess. But this is based on AI, you know, arbitrage trading type of thing here. So you can make up to 30% a month. Um, and this is not, you know, BTC and BTC out. This is BTL tokens, you know, a la. Arb token, you know, arbitrage and all that stuff, right? So, you know, instant exchange, all this stuff. Uh, the launch, uh, I think of buy tokens right now. If you're really interested in this, this is, this is definitely for the, the new bloods out there that or this is something they're looking for, right? You use your, your Bitcoin, you buy these biddles and you try to earn you know, daily and make up to 30% a month. So that's almost like a 1% a day. And then you sell it and try to get rid of it. And hopefully you don't get stuck holding a bag of Biddles, you know, while I eat my Skittles. So just wanted to show that out there because this is definitely fits the profile of the bloods of crypto. And I uh, want to credit King of FOMO for that one, for finding this platform. But this is definitely not what I'm into. Uh, I've removed myself from token platforms i mean i'm only stuck with the ones i've been in because i've been in it for a couple of years now like apex formerly arbitraging and then of course dropple so uh yeah so yeah that's your new bloods production for today comment down below let me know what you think about what's going on with these platforms including the new biddles and uh yeah other than that, I'll see you in the next one.